How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access YouTube Edu Creator, Math Teacher Ash. In this video, we will have four parts review series. So I hope you finish all four parts. We will divide it into 10 questions each so that it would not be very burdensome for you to study. Okay? You can go back to any questions that you like. And of course, if you are still new to the channel, please click that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of the School Clear Math videos just like this. So without further ado, let's do this. Question number one. What is a second degree polynomial equation written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero where a, b, c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero? Is it a linear equation? B, quadratic equation, C, linear inequality, or D, quadratic inequality. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, math learners, this question is very, very easy because this is the definition of a certain equation. Now, if we are talking about second degree, then that is what we call letter D quadratic equation now let's see whether we are correct all right now let us go to question number two which of the following is not a quadratic equation is it a 7x minus 4 is equal to 10 b x squared minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0 c 5x squared minus 9 is equal to 0 or d the quantity 3x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 1 is equal to 5. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, we already know that quadratic equation is in the second degree equation. So, in order to answer this question, we will be checking which among the given choices has a second degree. And if we found something with a second degree, then that is not the right answer for our question since what is asked here is not a quadratic equation. So letter B and letter C is obviously not the answer. However, letter A and letter D, we don't see any power of 2. But in letter D, if we simplify the two binomials, when multiplied together, it will result to a second degree equation. Therefore, A is the correct answer for this question. Let's see whether we are correct. Easy, right? Now, let us go to question number 3. What is the constant term of the quantity x minus 3 times 3x plus 2 is equal to 8? Is it A, 8, B, negative 6, C, negative 14, or letter D, negative 22? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, for this question, we will be simplifying the two given binomials by multiplying them using the FOIL method. So, how do we do that? Alright. So, in this case, we will multiply x to 3x. That will give us 3x squared. Then, we multiply it to this one, x times positive 2. That will be positive 2x. And then, negative 3 multiplied to 3x, that would be negative 9x. And then, when we multiply negative 3 to positive 2, that will give us negative 6. However, the equal here is still 8. What is asked in the problem is the constant term. We still have two constant terms in this given equation. Therefore, we will transpose this value of 8 to the other side of the equation so that we can combine like terms. So what we will do now is to transpose this positive 8 to this side of the equation, giving us negative 6 minus 8. And if we simplify this one, so negative 6 minus 8, that would be negative 14. Therefore, our constant term is negative 14. Letter C. Let's check whether we are correct. Alright, I hope you got that one, my dear math learners. Now, let us go to question number 4. Which quadratic equation is equivalent to x squared plus 7x is equal to negative 12? Is it A, the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 4? B, the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 4? C, x plus 3, the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 4 equals 0? Or letter D, the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 4 is equal to 0. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. All 
Okay, my dear math learners, I will teach you some technique on how to know this one. First, the given equation is not in the standard form. So in order to do that, in order to make it a standard form, we need to transpose our negative 12 to this side of the equation. So therefore, that will give us x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. All right. So having this, we will be considering positive pairs of the binomial. So therefore, the correct answer is, of course, letter A. So let's check whether we are correct. All right, I hope you got that one. Now, let us go to question number five. Question number five. Which of the following is a quadratic equation in standard form? Is it A, 4m minus n is equal to 15? B, negative 3n squared plus 2n minus 5 is equal to 0? C, 3x squared minus 5x is greater than or equal to 0? Or D, t squared plus 6t minus 10 is equal to 0? I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners, as we can see among the four choices, there are only two that are considered to be a quadratic equation. That is letter B and letter D. Now, if that is the case, my dear math learners, in order for us to know which among these two is the standard form, then what we need to do is consider the value of A, which is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. So, in letter B, the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term is negative 3 while in letter d since we don't see anything that is automatically positive 1 now in the context of standard form it is evident that the value of your a is greater than 0 meaning it is positive so therefore the correct answer for this question is letter d let's check whether we are correct all right my dear math learners now let us go to question number six which represents a quadratic equation is it A, 2 over x plus 3 is equal to x? B, x squared plus 4x minus 7 is equal to 0? C, the square root of x plus 2x is equal to 5? Or D, the quantity x plus 1 divided by or over the quantity x minus 2 is equal to 3? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, it is very obvious that the correct answer for this question is letter b all right now let's check whether we are correct okay i hope you got that one my dear math learners now let us go to question number seven which statement is true about solving quadratic equations is it a all quadratic equations can be solved by factoring b all quadratic equations can be solved by extracting square roots c all quadratic equations can be solved by the quadratic formula or d all quadratic equations can be solved by completing the square and then factoring I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, in solving quadratic equations, if you have read the book about mathematics and specifically the subject or listened to your teachers, there are four commonly methods used in solving quadratic equations. That is extracting square roots, factoring, completing the square, and the quadratic formula but among these four methods and there is only one method that is known as the safest and could solve all quadratic equations and that is by the use of a quadratic formula so the correct answer for this question is letter c let's check whether we are correct all right my dear math learners now let us go to question number eight if the quantity x plus 3 squared is equal to 4 is written in standard form, what is the value of b? Is it a, 2, b, 4, c, 6, or d, 7? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, in answering this question, basically, the value of 4 or the value 4 here is not important because this is a constant term. What matters here is this one. When we expand x plus 3 to the power of 2. Because if we expand this one, we will have our linear term in which we can find the value of b. Alright, so how do we do this one? So of course, that is x plus 3 expounded. That would be x plus 3. And when we multiply using the FOIL method, that would be x squared. This will be positive 3x. This will be positive 3x. And this will be positive 9. So, of course, 
we are considering the linear term, so that would be 6x. So therefore, the value of our b is 6, letter C. Let's check whether we are correct. Alright, I hope you got that one, my dear math learners. Now, let us go to question number 9. When the quantity 3x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2 is equal to negative 4 is written in standard form, what are the values of a, b, and c? Is it A? A is equal to 3, B is equal to negative 4, C is equal to 0. B, A is equal to 3, B is equal to 4, C is equal to 0. C, A is equal to 3, B is equal to negative 4, and C is equal to negative 4. Or D, A is equal to 3, B is equal to 4, and C is equal to negative 4. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, so now we will be finishing our standard form. So, what we will do is we will apply the FOIL method in this part, okay? So, that would be this one, 3x times x, that will be 3x squared. Then, we will multiply this one, that will be negative 6x. And then, this one, we will have positive 2x. And then, this one, the last term, if we multiply, that would be 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Of course, we will be transposing our negative 4 to the left side of the equation. That would give us positive 4 is equal to 0. We equate the whole equation by 0 because that is the standard form. Now, we will be combining like terms after this process. Okay, so now we will be copying the 3x squared and then we simplify negative 6x plus 2x, that would be negative 4x. And then when we add negative 4 plus 4, that would be 0. So there is no need to write it down. So we just equate it to 0. So therefore, the value for our c would be 0, the value for our b would be negative 4, and the value of our a would be 3. And that is in letter, or right letter A. So let's check whether we are correct, my dear math learners. Alright, I hope you got that one. Now, let us go to question number 10. If A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 3, and C is equal to 10, what is the quadratic equation in standard form? Is it A, x squared minus 3x plus 10? B, negative x squared minus 3x is equal to 10? C, x squared minus 3x is equal to 10? Or D, negative x squared minus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, this question is very, very easy. Why? Because among the four choices given, there is only one equation that is in the standard form because letter B, letter C, and letter D are not in the standard form. Okay, so automatically, the correct answer for this question is letter A. Let's check whether we are correct. All right. So, my dear math learners, I am very happy that you finished the first part of our reviewer series. If you are enjoying our discussion, please click that subscribe button and notification bell as well as share this to your fellow friends, classmates, and schoolmates. Now, without further ado, let's go to part 2.